Hi, scholars. For today's read aloud, I thought I would read a mathematical story. So here I am at our math wall. Today's story is called Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream. It's a mathematical story. It is written by Cindy Neuschwander, and its pictures are by Liza Woodruff. And the mathematical activities are done by Marilyn Burns. Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream, a mathematical story. I am Amanda Bean, and I love math. I know all about counting. I am very good at it. I can count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. I can add up anything. The kids at school call me Bean Counter. Hey, what are you counting, bean counter, they yell. Anything and everything. I yell back, I just like to know how many. I count every day, even when I am on my way home from school. Can you look at this picture? What kind of things could she be counting on her way home from school? Now we are learning about multiplying. I understand many things about multiplying. I know that it is like adding lots of things quickly. This is good. I know about mul the multiplication sign, X. It means that things can come in groups or rows or columns. This is also good. What I do not know are the multiplication facts. My teacher says it's important to learn these. I'm not so sure. I think I can just keep counting. I tell my teacher this. He agrees, but he says counting is a longer way to find the same answer. I think about this when I get home. I think about this as I eat a snack in our kitchen. I look at the count tile countertop. The countertop, I say. I must count these tiles. I notice there are 12 columns of tiles. There are 12 tiles in each column. This is a long, it is a long time before I count all 144 of them. I am Amanda Bean, and I like to work quickly. Maybe multiplying would be faster. See how there's 12 across and 12 going down. I walked to the library to check out a book. One bookcase has seven shelves and nine books on each shelf. I am Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything. I start counting. I finally figure out that there are 63 books in the bookcase. I am happy to know this, but now the library is closing. It is too late for me to look for a book. Maybe I should learn to multiply. Maybe it would make counting easier. I am still thinking about this when I go to bed. I'm very tired, but my mind will not quit thinking about numbers. Once, when I could not sleep, my mother told me to count sheep. I stayed awake all night counting them. The next morning, I had 6,727 sheep in my head. I do not think counting sheep is for me. Tonight, I will think about riding my bike. This is simple. There are only two wheels, two pedals, one seat, and one of me. I will imagine a quiet ride in the country. I whisper to myself, I can see the rolling hills, the big trees, and the green grass. 
This is relaxing. I say as I begin to nod off. I am pedaling along a quiet back road. The sun is shining. A gentle breeze is brushing against my face. This is relaxing. And I notice something. It looks like eight bike bicyclists with sheep on them. How many wheels is that, I wonder. I start counting. The sheep whiz by so fast, I can't. I cannot count all the bicycle wheels. Wait, I yell. I am Amanda Bean, and I count anything and everything. I decide to follow them. I have to know how many wheels have rolled by me. Then I wonder, how many legs do those, do those sheep have all together? Now I really must catch up with those woolies on wheels. I really must know how many. I pump harder, I breathe harder. Up the hill they go, up the hill I go. Around the bend they go, around the bend I go. And she catch them. The sheep did not stop at a barn and get off their bikes. Well, the sheep did, the sheep stopped at a barn and got off their bikes. I get off my bike too. I do not stop to count the wheels. I follow the sheep. They go into the barn, I go in too. They reach their into their fleecy pockets. Each, each sheep pulls out five balls of yarn. Oh no, I cry out. Now I must count the yarn too. I'm Amanda Bean and I count anything and everything. First it was wheels, then it was legs. Now it's balls of yarn. Hmm, what is she gonna do? I cannot believe my eyes at what I see next. Seven grandmas come marching in with two knitting needles each. They take the yarn from the sheep and start knitting sweaters. This dream is getting too crazy. Now I must add knitting needles to my list of things to count and each sweater has two arms. Should I count them too? Do you think so? Should she count them? The grandmas start wrapping all of the sweaters around me. Stop, I tell them. How can I count all of the arms in the sweaters and all of the knitting needles and the balls of yarn and the sheep's legs and the bicycle wheels if I am all wrapped up? Multiply, bleed the sheeps. Multiply, 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 chant the grandmas. Multiply, I ask. I am Amanda Bean, and I count anything and everything, I say. Multiplying is counting, say the grandmas. It's just a fast way of counting. Yeah, agree the sheep. I wake up to find my mother wrapping me in her arms. I had an amazing dream, I say. It was a noisy dream, my mother says. Today, I will start to learn the multiplication facts, I announce. They are important to know if you want to find out how many, and you need to know fast. My mother agrees. I am Amanda Bean. I still love knowing how many, but now I multiply anything and everything. And I never count sheep.
Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this, this book has a few other things that we can learn about. There's going to be activities at the end. So this might be a fun book to check out for the from the library the next time you're there, especially if you want to learn some new um, math activities. This was Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream.